welcome or welcome back to Journey Into Stories. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Remarkably Bright Creatures, a novel by Shelby Van Pelt. This book I loved. Five stars all the way. I'm going to read the book jacket so I don't spoil anything. A charming, witty, and compulsively, compulsively readable exploration of friendship, reckoning, and hope that traces a widow's unlikely connection with a giant Pacific octopus. After Tova Sullivan's husband died, she began working the night shift at the Soul Bay Aquarium, mopping floors and tidying up. Keeping busy has always helped her cope, which she's been doing since her 18-year-old son, Eric, mysteriously vanished on a boat over 30 years ago. Tova becomes acquainted with Marcellus, a giant Pacific octopus living at the aquarium. Marcellus knows more than anyone can imagine, but wouldn't dream of lifting one of his eight arms for his human captors until he forms a remarkable friendship with Tova. Ever the detective, Marcellus deduces what happened the night Tova's son disappeared, and now Marcellus must use every trick his old invertebrate body can muster to unearth the truth for her before it's too late. Shelby Van Pelt's debut novel is a gentle reminder that sometimes taking a hard look at the past can help uncover a future that once felt impossible. I have heard so many incredible things about this book. I knew that I wanted to um, go to an aquarium and read it at a zoo within driving distance of my home. They have a, a new aquarium and they have a octopus and they are incredible incredible animals for sure we went to the zoo yesterday well let's let's back up a little bit i got the book on audio about three weeks ago and i listened to the book loved the book and I knew it was going to be hard to read the entire book at the zoo. It's dark in the aquarium, I think, because they're used to being in the ocean and it's darker, at least where this octopus was, his, his um, tank. So I listened to the book along with reading my physical copy that I have. It's been a book that I've wanted to pick up for at least the past eight, nine, ten months. I've heard nothing but wonderful things. I gave it five stars. Marcellus, I, you just can't help but fall in love with the character Marcellus, the octopus in the book. This book made me laugh, smile, cry, have all the feels. And when I was at the zoo yesterday... It was quite busy. We did get some video of the octopus there. We arrived to the zoo about an hour after opening, and the zoo handler that was in charge of the octopus there said that he just had a big, big meal, and he was going to be asleep at least five, six hours. And on the tank, it even says, if you can't find me, look in the corner. That, that's his place he likes to be in the corner of the tank at sleeping. So um, we were able to get some video from the zoo of the octopus swimming and being active. And we did a little bit of a slow motion so you can see him. Um, he, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful animal. And... The parts that I read, it was difficult, the noise, and, and the tank is nice size for him, but the glass area is not the biggest, and I didn't want to hog a lot of the uh, glass area for uh, visitors of the zoo. Um, he's a popular animal for sure, and um, it was just really neat. So what I did, I had already listened to the audio and read my physical book, 
but I did um, read some of my favorite lines from Marcellus. And um, did I get teary-eyed reading some of the things that I had underlined in my book? Standing next to the aquarium with an octopus? Yes, I did. I would recommend this book to anybody. I also loved this book so much. I uh, saw that Disney Plus had a little documentary on um, varieties, species of the octopus. And um, I gobbled up, I think it was three episodes, but I watched those back to back. And they're just amazing, amazing creatures, what they're able to do changing colors and they do sleep a lot and the video that Disney Plus had of them sleeping and dreaming and it just it's really neat so please pick up Rebar Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. Five stars. I will, re I will definitely reread this book. It touched my heart and soul. I just I loved it and it was a lot of fun. Um, it, not the typical, what I call my journey reads, where I like to go out and read kind of what I call on locations. It's a really neat experience for me to do, but I knew this one would be a little tricky because we're in summer here. I knew there would be a lot, a lot of people. It was Saturday, you know, and it just... I, I knew I would have to get the book done before I even went to the aquarium, but I did want to capture just some video of me reading, again, my favorite parts from Marcellus and uh, being next to the aquarium with the octopus and the video where he's in the corner, he's sleeping, he had a great meal according to the zoo handler. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being kind to yourself and one another. And I hope whatever you're doing, you're enjoying and uh, reading an amazing book. And I hope this is a new kind of setup. My son let me borrow his amazing mic, so I hope I'm able to be heard nice and clearly uh, for you all. So I will see you in the next video. And thank you for stopping by Journey Into Stories, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye guys.